Hey everyone, in my first two videos calling for the Denver Broncos to fire offensive coordinator Rick Denison, and I did so because of his lousy play design, which has been the main contributor to Peyton Manning's terrible year, now that I have discovered that Manning had plantar fascia problem and the inflammation of the plantar fascia reason was the, in part the contributor to his performance, I'm calling for Denison's firing even more because if you look at the previous videos, if you haven't, you should, and here's the links to them, you will note that I point to the extra footwork that Peyton had to do to make up for the poor play design, the poor timing between wide receiver rote, offensive line blocking style and scheme, and footwork by the quarterback within the context of a particular passing play in Rick Denison's system. Because that's off, Manning had to take extra steps to avoid the rush and find the open receiver, sometimes even jump passing to get there. There's one play I, I pointed to where Manuel Sanders was running a quick in, a quick slant in, and because the blocking style and also the receiver route and formation combination was not ideal, this was against, the, my, my might add, the Kansas City Chiefs in the first game of this year, the first game that they played, Manning actually had to jump past the ball there. In other words, push off his what? Plantar fascia. That's one example. Then there are the waggle passes, the fake play action, fake run, bootlegged around that he had Manning, he being Rick Dennison, had Manning do in, his, in the Rick Dennison system that Manning has never done before on a regular basis. On a regular basis. With the Colts, I can count the number of times in 10 years I've seen Peyton Manning run a bootleg of some kind. That's it. That's it. Out of the hundreds of passes he's thrown, that was it. Now, under Denison's systems, he's, he's ran it, what, three times this year alone, three or four times? And then add to that the number of extra steps he's had to take in the passing pocket to make up for Denison's poor play design and his age and the new stresses his body has had to get used to because of Denison's system and you get what Manning is dealing with right now. Offensive coordinators, head coaches, general managers, and owners must be more intelligent about the offensive systems they design for their players. You don't just stick a player in any damn system. You ask the question, what can this player do physically? What can't they do physically? How old is this player? What is this player's most effective pass or pass or set of passes? And then you design your plays accordingly. And then you adjust your plays with respect to the opponent's defense and what you want to take advantage of that that opponent's defense is giving you. That's what you do. But you don't just stick Peyton Manning in anything and say, oh, go run it, you're the greatest. Because you're going to do what Rick Dennison has done. Made him not the greatest for a year. It's Rick Dennison's fault. And the fact that Rick Dennison's name isn't part of the conversation has to do with these mainstream television organizations talking about Manning as if Peyton is out there drawing the plays in the dirt for the players to run. As Derek Carr told me this year in my interview with him at the Raider, head, at Raider locker room in Oakland Coliseum after the Arizona Cardinals-Oakland Raiders preseason game, quote, I only do what they tell me to do. We only do what they tell us to do. We only run what they tell us to run. We only run what they tell us to run. He's not out there drawing up the plays. He's not on the whiteboard designing the offense. He's not even modifying it the way Roger Staubach did a couple of times under Tom Landry. There are no Ken Stablers out there anymore calling their own plays in the huddle or making, make, maybe making an adjustment here and there. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. But that's not the case today. Yet, analysts would have you believe that's not the case. That the players are designing these systems. That they're telling the receivers where to run all the time. That the receivers are making their own decisions. It's coaching. And I go back to my point I made in this video and other videos with Rick Denison's name on them. 
The Broncos need to fire him and change their system and make it more amenable to the skills that Peyton Manning has right today and what he's capable of, capable of doing and not doing. Take the bootlegs out of there. Adjust the timing. Recoach the offensive line so that they are pushing their arms out to ward off the defenders before they can get off the line of scrimmage. I call it fight blocking. That was popularized by Dan Rakatovich when he was the offensive line coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers during the 1970s when they won four Super Bowls. Come on, guys. Get smart with this stuff. This is ridiculous. Fire Rick Dennison. Change that system.